Hey everyone, my name is Mariah and welcome to the IS Boxer 42 video for basic VFX layouts. A VFX layout is a window layout that's built using video effects and it's highly recommended that one be used when using any part of the video effects feature. For this video, I'm first going to show how to set one up and then I'll talk about a few other details after that. So to start off, you'll need to add DX nothing to inner space. This already comes packaged with the program, so simply right click on the inner space icon in the notification area, select add game, navigate to the folder where inner space is installed and select the DX nothing executable. Alternatively, you can go into the X64 folder and choose to run the 64-bit version instead, but there should be no difference in terms of performance since the program requires almost zero resources to run. Next, and this might almost seem too easy, but when in the window layout portion of the Quick Setup Wizard or the standalone version of it, locate the Use Video Effects option near the bottom, set it to True, and then pick a brand new, non-existing window layout from the dropdown. Finally, finish the wizard, and that's it. So let's talk about those additional details, shall we? Now, after creating the VFX layout, three things in Iceboxer are going to change. First, you'll have a brand new DX Nothing character added to your character list. Second, an additional slot will be added to your character set, and that DX Nothing character will be occupying that space. And finally, you'll have a new key map with a set of map keys in them related to mouse over. If you've ever used a video effects action in Iceboxer before, these mouse over mapped keys are created to emulate the hold mapped key while mouse is over this feed option found within it. Although unless you're an advanced user, it's safe to assume that most people probably won't be using these, so it's all right to ignore them for now. I'll also point out that if you look at the newly created window layout, it will look just like a standard layout, but the magic lies in the option found under the layout's general settings. The Use Video Effects to Show in Active Windows option is what tells Iceboxer to convert this to a VFX layout upon export. However, this option won't automatically turn any old standard window layout into a VFX layout, but it can be used as a toggle with a minor adjustment to enable or disable the video effects portion of any wizard-generated VFX layout. All right, so let's talk about how a VFX layout differs from a standard window layout and why it's recommended to use one when using the video effects feature of Iceboxer. When using a standard window layout, even with all of the game clients rendering at the same internal resolution, they're still being scaled down when filling in the smaller regions, and this affects them visually. So, when using video effects, the scaled down source ends up heavily pixelated when looking at it through the viewer on the screen that you're focused on. While this doesn't hinder the functionality of video effects, it certainly doesn't look appealing, and sometimes being able to see what you're doing is necessary. On the other hand, when using a VFX layout, all of the game clients are stacked on top of each other, which means they're all scaled up to the same resolution that they're rendering at. Then, through video effects viewers, those game clients are projected onto the DX Nothing region, giving the layout the same look and feel as if it were a standard layout. Ultimately, this allows user-created video effects viewers to view their sources without any pixelation or distortion. Finally, there are a few last-minute details to cover. In order to swap focus between game clients via clicking with your mouse as if you were using a standard window layout, you would use the Video Effects Focus hotkey found within your character set. The default key combination is Alt-Mouse 1, where Mouse 1 is the left button of your mouse. In addition, when using a basic wizard-generated VFX layout, the Focus Follows Mouse option is forced on. This is normally required in order to minimize the amount of button clicks used to swap between game clients, but a side effect of having it enabled is that you may experience a flicker when moving your mouse in and out of the DX Nothing region. If you want to avoid this behavior, you can create a VFX layout manually from scratch, but creating your own VFX layout is a bit advanced, and there is a separate video that goes into detail on how to set that up. Finally, after exiting out of your game clients, the DX Nothing window will continue to run in the background and you will need to shut it down manually, either by right-clicking on the program running in the Windows taskbar, or by creating a mapped key and using a window close action in IS Boxer. Well, that's all there is to setting up a basic VFX layout. As always, please check the video description for links to any additional videos or documentation. Again, my name is Mirai. Thank you for watching. And for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat.